but our planning encompasses a, a more sustainable approach. We're here at the Game Lands 33 research sites at Penn State. This site has been contributing to our understanding of how to manage rights of way better. I've been in the industry for about 40 years. I started back doing research into what would become known as integrated vegetation or IVM principles. IVM is really a, a way at looking at rights of way a little differently. Today we look not just at the incompatible species, but also at the compatible species. Not just what do we have to kill or maintain, but what can we create in the process. It starts with a clear understanding of the objectives for a given site. It forces us to uh, identify specific thresholds. When will the vegetation uh, impact our objectives and when must we take action to prevent that? And then finally, it requires that we have a range of options. Uh, options that a manager can choose from based on the objectives, taking into account all those other environmental and societal impacts that might be there. If you think about the electric utility and the pipeline industry combined, they manage somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 million acres across North America. And if we're employing IVM, we're managing for the sustainable practices. Uh, we're protecting and encouraging riparian vegetation. We manage for pollinators. We create pollinator habitat, which is so important to our society today. Now it's a science-based strategy, and science tells us that it's the best for the utility, it's the best for the public, it's the best for the environment, and ultimately, it's the best for the future for our kids and our grandkids.